Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play La Molana 2. <sighs> Eglana, right, that's the subtitle now. Um, in my first playthrough, I never figured out, for some reason, never figured out that this was a shortcut I could open permanently. So I never opened it. It was very annoying. Let me just tell you, I hated this area just because it was so closed off. It wasn't closed off, I'm just stupid. Goodbye, Boomerang. Got him. Doo -doo. So, last time, we opened this up. It opens two paths. The one to the right, which is obvious. And the one to the left, which is less obvious. I thought for sure there was a path there. My mistake. Maybe you have to actually break it open or something. I don't know exactly. But I'm pretty sure that's how you go to the top left. Anyway. The other more obvious path we opened up. Oh, do you have something to say? Ah, no. You find a few girls and they're all ready to kill you. It's pretty great. Kill them first though, so everything's fine. Honestly, honestly, if you want to save a girl, you just ask Mulbrook to, you know, explore the area. I'm sure she's gonna need saving soon enough. Can I go there? Oh, I remember how. I think. Aha! Whoops! Ice is the thing. I forget what we opened up here. Oh god, bombs! Use a jerk! Oh, I hit something sacred, apparently. Got him! I just... I don't think I jumped high enough to actually make it back. Uh, Burgelmere supports the frost. Yeah, Burgelmere is the... Um, the thing I was talking about last time. Yep. Oh. I'm never gonna get the microchip. The thing I was telling you about, that while trying to figure out how to get him going, I accidentally found an area. Got it. No, that's... <laughs> that's bad. Um, unfortunately, the tablet did not tell us how to make Bergamere open up, so... Maybe we're gonna find that out soon enough. I don't actually remember how. I mean, I know that it's a mantra, I forget the mantra, so... There's a tablet that's gonna tell us eventually. I'm not worried. No! Don't fall down. Oh, hey! It's that thing. Not as hard to get in this game, is it? Alright. Okay, never mind. I thought for a second somebody had something to tell us. We're gonna go do a quick break. By quick break, quick break, I mean heal up because we took a little bit of damage, at least 42. It's a decent amount of damage. And then I think we've been told how to do it. Might as well do it. We're gonna explore a little bit more of the ice fire treetop. Best way to go is this way, I think. Jerk. Those jerks killed me when the first time I came here. Die. I think I have the ice cave, don't I? Well, you know what? There's a few things I can do. So what you're supposed to do is get across that. But of course they're icicles, they're not granite or whatever blocks. So, columns. So you slide down them, so you just gotta be fast. It's not that hard though. The treasure of the dwarves will serve. I think we've heard a little bit about the, the treasure of the dwarves before, but... 
Anyway. It's Inan... Inanna? Oh wow, that seems unpleasant, lady. How are you here, though? You're not in the underworld. Oh. Are you gonna tell us about the underworld? Nope. Eventually she tells us about the underworld. Some... oh. That's a place. Oh yeah, that's one of the costumes. That I can't get, for whatever reason. Because I haven't completed the game on this save file. A secret hidden by the golden rock. Right, I can actually get that, don't can I? Whoops. Whoops. Get out of the water when I tell you to. Cool. Start hitting, because they take a while to kill. Oh no, he's gonna be... Straight above the thing! I can't take the elevator, you stupid squid, you! I hate you! Come here so I can kill you. God damn it. Alright, come on elevator, bring it back. We got places to be. I can't get that, by the way. You need the um, treasure of the dwarves, actually, to get that. So, I want to take some over here. Water flows from the Eye of Chaos. If you say so. I have no idea what this thing is talking about. Get up there. Yeah, yeah, here. So that's a bird. There's a... There's a tablet. Ach. In the uh, lava bottom area. That says... Is that a tablet or... I think it's a skeleton, actually. Blah, 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 blah. Those are the... Okay, there are a few... Uh, hot springs in the ruins. Those are the powers they give you. Uh, I think the one here... There's one clearly down there. I think the one here reduces the damage from lava and stuff. Not that useful. Um, anyway, there's a skeleton at the very bottom that gives you a mantra to recite at the bottom of this thing, this bird, which will open the, the source. I just don't remember the mantra. I don't suppose I actually kept that, right? No. I kept the four pillars, though, and I even know what the four, four pillars, what I have to do for the four pillars. I'm, I'm kind of silly like that sometimes. This room looks interesting. Oh, maybe that's the skeleton that tells us about it. Okay. Jerk. Okay, we're good. We got this. No! I hate you! You and all of your kind. Oh god, I missed. Bye! <laughs> oh god. Uh, okay. We're back. We got this. No problem. Nothing happened. I don't know what you're talking about. Please don't kill me, ladies. Aha! I'm behind you now! So there's a wall there you can hit. I kind of want this call trap. There we go. I don't really, because I'm not going to use it. Ratchet Huska slumbers. Trace the illusion's path and seal it. That's a hint for way later. We're nowhere near there. Those who would seek audience with the mistress of the underworld. Hell must first gain my permission. Please? To reach hell, you must first enter the eternal prison. To enter the eternal prison, you must defeat the terrible bird, Vidaphne. Okay. I will need the power of flame. Surtur's wife, Sinmara, possesses the power. Oh, I think we talked to her. She said she would give us if we brought her a light scythe. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Okay. Light scythe lies inside the eternal prison. Therefore, you cannot reach hell. 
Oh. Isn't that unfortunate? You totally insist that you can try speaking to others when you're with the underworld. I shall not stop you. No, I've memorized it. I mean, she doesn't say anything that's particularly important. We solved the riddle! We talked to a person, that's all we did. I think people like Inanna, the person down there, will start talking to us now. About the underworld. Because she wouldn't do that earlier. She's just like, I entered living and I was punished. By the way, fairy guild pass. We can now buy fairies. Because that's totally morally and ethically good to do. I mean, we're releasing them. We're not buying. We're not claiming property once we buy them. So it's fine, I suppose. Oh, look what's here. It's a place. And I can go left now. They didn't see me. Ha! Acquire the illuminating ring of power. That's a map. I know what they're talking about. I'm pretty sure they're talking about Chakram and I now remember where to get the chakra. Uh, anyway, <laughs> long story. So, I never figured any of the puzzles of this stupid room because I never noticed any of them. First off, there's a thing there. Hit it. Please. I never figured that one out. Dinosaur figure, I don't know, we probably saw the hint for that. Allows us to go see Indra. Second thing, this place is called the Moon Altar. This I know we got this hint. We're supposed to chant Sun where the moon is. Something told us to do that. There you go. I'm chanting more than just Sun, I think. Yeah. Try again. Hello? I said Sun. I must be missing a part. Unless you have to do it here? Oh no, he saw me. Fire breathing bastard. Why is sun not working? I'm not sure. Oh, well. No! Stop it. He saw me. We're doomed. We need to flee. So this normally would be a shortcut I could go to. If I had come down here before turning the water on, I could press that pedestal down there and this would be open right under me. I didn't, so I'm gonna need the treasure of the dwarves. Son! Do something! Yeah, you keep doing that, that's fine. <laughs> I don't understand why Sun doesn't do anything. Oh well, we'll get back to that. It's not particularly important. Stop it. I'm gonna go back to reading if you don't mind. <laughs> There's spikes there. I was jumping straight for the spikes. Who are you? You seem stuck. Oh well, I'll leave you to it. Hey, I'm getting that microchip, finally. Virtues measured akin to a number of ox hooves. Four? What? Ow! Stupid. Oh, this place looks interesting. The Infernal Fiend bites into the neck of the Colossal Dragon, thus binding the two together. That's actually... A hint? I know vaguely what this hint refers to, but I don't remember precisely. Oh, hey, I can't jump out. Well, I needed to heal anyway. And you know what? It's about time for me to end it. We're gonna end it here. Next time... I don't know. I actually don't know. Maybe some adventures in the uh, immortal battlefield again. Or Ice Fire Treetop. Or some place. Actually, you know what? More Ice Fire Treetop. For now. Until then, see y'all.